Hello everybody, Stuart from Super Machine here. Just back with another video to show you a new release in Super Machine and the start of our tools collection. The tools collection is going to be a bunch of interesting tools that you can use to manipulate the images that you have created within Super Machine or bring images from outside Super Machine and run these effects on them. The first tool that we're going to be introducing today is the background remover. Background remover is very interesting, does what it says, removes the background of an image. You can then run that in an image to image or through the canvas feature to get some really interesting outputs. So let's get into it and let's see how you can use the background remover within Super Machine. So once I have logged in to Super Machine through supermachine.art, I will come to the dashboard where we do all of the generations. This should be fairly familiar to anyone who has used Super Machine in the past. And you will be able to see all of the images that you have generated. For this demonstration, I have generated a bunch of this 25-year-old Swedish lady with blonde hair in professional office attire. And I have also created a bunch of these cyberpunk rabbit samurai. I used the Super Machine Abstract XL model for both of these generations. And where we see the Remove Background tool, we need to go to Tools at the top. So we have a brand new menu icon for Tools. You click this and you'll see that we have the Remove Background. From here, I can either select from an album. So I have everything in the home and I can go through the different ones. You know, I've got these, I've got these rabbits here and I've got more of my images. And if I want to go to a specific album, I can also do that. So if I wanted to say, get the background remover from say this image, what I can do is I select it. I click use this image and it's going to load that up for me. And then all I have to do is hit remove background. And like our other generations, you will see that it appears here. We don't have any of the prompt or negative prompt showing because this is just using the background remover tool. And you will see that it will process this image. So. This is the original one, and this is the one with the background removed. So it's pretty cool, does a good job, and you can see we have the original image showing and the background removed image also. So it's super simple. If I want to do another one, I just reset the input. I select from our album, say this one with the hat. I can say, yes, I want to use this one. It will show it here and I can remove the background of this. So that is an example of two sort of photorealistic uh, outputs. And if I want to then select some of my rabbit samurai, I can also do that. So let's select like this one and remove the background on that. And then let's go for another one, uh, say this one here. And I can also remove the background on this one. So you'll see here our lady with the hat has the background removed. So by clicking on it, I can see that we have the image with the background and we also have the hat image without the background. So this is really awesome if you're making graphics for a website or you're doing, uh, you know, new landing pages and you need transparent images to go somewhere, you know, like a testimonial, for example. You can say, hey, this lady said blah, blah, blah about my business. That's really cool. Um, and then we have our two rabbit ones here. So here is the first one. It does a good job of removing the background. Here is the second one. There is a little bit of the background still left in there. So you may want to perhaps run that one through again. Like I said, it works very well for a lot of use cases, but there are some things if the image is very finicky where there are, you know, 
a lot of like individual hair strands and and an image below that then it might pick up some of the coloring below that like for example you can see that here a little bit but for the most part it gives you a good base for removing uh, the backgrounds from your images so i'm super happy to show you that this is live now within super machine so try it out for yourself the final thing that i want to show for you today is actually uploading so what i'm going to do is i'm going to upload an image and this was me playing with a uh, face swapper uh technology which we might be doing something with soon so stay tuned for that and i have me with this fantastic body and if i want to remove the background on this one again it's the same process i have uploaded this photo i have then hit the remove background button and i have my output so i can see the original image and i can see my image with the background removed so say i'm a pt and i'm making a website and i want to show you what you can do in two weeks if you follow my diet plan then having an image like this would be super cool and you'd be able to put it on your website with whatever color the background of the website is without having a background ruin it and square and you know all of that nonsense so there's a lot of application for transparent images and this is a way that makes them super simple to use and yeah try it out today within super machine one of the interesting things that you can do with images that you have removed the background from is send them to the canvas and by doing this you can create completely new images based on that existing image so here is that image that i had with my background removed if i delete that image from the canvas i will show you how to do it so here are the outputs from the removed background there is this icon here which when you hover will say canvas click this icon and you will see a loading bar at the top of the screen and when that completes you'll see that the image has been sent across and i can move this how i want to fit into the canvas and if i change the image ratio the canvas will change as well so that's pretty awesome and if i wanted to have multiple images on the same canvas i can do that right so if i click this rabbit it's going to then add the rabbit on as well. Obviously, I don't want to use that now, but it's just a case of, you know, if you're trying to create an image and you have specific layers or specific uh, images that you want to include, then you can do that and you can provide multiple images to do, to do just that. The canvas is creating a brand new image. So we're using the image to image technology to do that. So for example, if I say muscular man posing on the beach, use the same sort of settings, I want four outputs, 20 steps is fine. And if I hit generate four of these images, what we are going to see is it's going to give me four images of muscular men on the beach. So here are some of the tests that I included for this based on my initial image. And you'll see that it has sort of kept the same sort of pose of the image, whereas it hasn't kept my face or anything like that. So that's something that will come in the future. We do plan to add that, but it's not something we have right now. So if you're just trying to create new images based on an existing image, then this is perfect. What we do plan to add is we plan to add in painting, which will sort of keep everything from the original image and just sort of paint in the background. So that will be kind of interesting to use in conjunction with the background remover. And then we also are playing around with some face swapping technology. And I think that's going to be really exciting when we have that in as well. So yeah try it out today try out the remove background from the tools tab let me know how you get on let me know what you're using it for and let me know what you want to see next in super machine you know we're always looking for additional feedback 
So there we have it, new tool within Super Machine, the background remover. Try it out for yourself and you'll see if you go to that tab, we have control net coming soon. So there are a lot of new things baking in the oven in our office and we can't wait to get them out for you. If you haven't got an account for Super Machine, consider signing up today at supermachine.art. And if you want to learn more about our image generator, and learn how to use it better, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We will be posting more videos with tips and tricks to get the most out of your AI image generation. Thank you.